So I'm here with Philip Burnson of FC Salisbury United and the head coach of the club, uh, Jeffrey Bonner. So guys, how did you plan? Um, no, how did you plan for Reading Escola, seeing as their leaders and, and unbeaten? So the preparation and training has been to keep them out, basically. Um, we knew they'd have a lot of possession and, and just try and stay tight and compact at the back and hit them on the counter, which we've been doing successfully at times this season. All right, and obviously, what are your thoughts on this game? Uh, obviously, it didn't go according to plan, uh, but Philip, what did you feel and how did you feel it went? I felt we did okay. Um, Individual errors cost us quite a lot, and they have done throughout the whole season, um, which is something we can, you know, we keep trying to work on. But you know, we're everyone here is a volunteer at the club, and to put it in perspective. Five years ago, we were a, a local five-a-side team that had never touched a, a futsal ball, and some of the boys that are playing this year is the first time they played futsal from from September onwards. So we're learning, um, and it will eventually come, but. As long as we just keep putting the passion and desire that we share each game, it's got us the 12 points we've got so far, I think we'll, we'll be alright. So putting all of this into perspective, uh, what are your objectives for this season? Obviously there's a, there's a little slide down the table, but do you still want to maintain the top four status as started out with, or, or, or do you have any other objectives for the season? I think our long-term goal is, we've got kids uh, from 7 to 14, we want to stay in the Super League until they're 16 to 18, so they've got a pathway to play at the highest level in the country. So just staying in the league is what we're after this season. That's our objectives. Excellent, guys. You definitely gave a good account of yourselves, uh, so congratulations. Cheers, Pedro.